Hello guys, so today I want to review the Golf Buddy AIM W10 watch. In the box there was two straps. I much preferred the coloured strap, so I've stuck that one on there. And then also there is a magnetic charger. So with this, you just turn it round and then you put that on there like that. As I say, it won't come off because it's magnetic. And then you just plug it here into the uh, socket. Okay, let's get reviewing the watch. So I've just put the watch in my wrist now. Um, it does sit on there really well. As you can see, it does look quite chunky, um, but during your arm rotation, you can't feel nothing. So before I go into the golf mode, um, as you can see here, I've got the time, date, and battery life. Now, if I keep my finger in the center here for three seconds, you can then change the face of your watch. There's plenty to choose from. Okay, so if you press the button at the side here, you've got two options. You can either go into play golf on the menu. If you were going to play golf, this is for when you're actually on the course. So what you would do, you would press on it and then it would search for the GPS for the course you're on. So what we'll do now, we'll click into the menu and then we'll go through the steps on here. So if you go onto the golf settings, as you can see at the top here, you can change it from yards uh, to meter for your distance. Your dimming mode can go on or off, which I tend to have to save battery life. Same as the screen always on, I have that off as well to save the battery. You can change your brightness and you can put it into the tournament mode. If you click onto the steps here, it's obviously your pedometer, so it tells you how many steps you do during the day and also how many calories you've burnt. Okay, let's go into the tutorial. So click on the play golf and then it will say searching for your course. Once it's found the course that you're on, it will then say proceed to the tee box. When you're on the fairway, it will give you three distances. At the back is 326, 312 to the centre and 297 to the front of the green. If you click on the L with the flag, that will tell you the hazard and the distances ahead. Each hole should change automatically when you finish a hole. If it doesn't, you can do it manually by clicking at the very top, just here. The watch has an overhead bird's eye view of each hole. It will show the hazards. It will also show the distance of the pin, so it's good for club selection. So when you get near the green, it will show you the picture of the green. Um, which I do find is pretty pointless where you can move the flag around. Uh, what I will say is that in other countries it does do the green undulation. Unfortunately, it doesn't do it in the UK. So that's my review of the Golf Buddy AIM W10. Um, like I said, it's got good visuals. It takes one hour to charge up. The good advantage with the watch has got a built-in scorecard so you can review your putts and your strokes to give you the overall score at the end. The disadvantage with this watch compared to other watches is that um, it doesn't give you the distance for each shot that you take. But overall it's well worth having. If you'd like to see more videos and me doing more reviews please like and subscribe. Thank you for your support.